Well, well, well. Happy, happy day, I'm, uh, Ah, I'm, uh... Had a pretty good weekend, uh... It's, it's a heck with it play. Two days, bookie, from work. In lieu of, uh, my 51st birthday. So, well, am I getting a little bit old to say, uh, 51st birthday, or uh, make an ultimate birthday? Ah, probably if I got some really half-assed toys or other, uh, things you, some of these ingrate little monkeys, uh, have to have all the time. But, uh, you know, this is the thing, uh, too, and, uh, I gotta drop my past a little bit once, because, you know, because, you know, when I think of all the crap and the idiots I had to deal with through my life, and I look at my, uh, lovely wife now, um, you know, she's willing to sit there and make it so I can have anything I want for my birthday, and you know some I'll tell you what, I pretty much have everything I had, um, I blew a lot more, but not in the st standard, standard sense, not in the standard sense you guys would think, um, and probably what I did, you guys are probably thinking you freaking nuts or boring as heck. But, uh, you know, basically what I did is, uh, you know, for my birthday, I'll tell you what. Hey, right, just disregard good health and uh, eating out the window, okay? Hey, tough crap, it's one day. And, uh, anyway, so we, um, uh, the wife and I spent some time together by ourselves, so I went to the Amish. I put the kids to work because they knew damn well they're going to sit there and do some surprise for me. Which, you know, I got awesome kids, so what can I say? And, uh, anyway, so we went to the Amish and we bought some plants and we went, we went over, over exaggerated. So I'm going to kind of brag about our weekend, uh, with this, you know, what else did we do? Um, first of all, too, and that, especially on MeWe and especially on... Oh, the few people left on Facebook who actually wish me a happy birthday, you know, the grand total of 10 or 12 people, whatever I have for friends in there, I'm, uh, you know, if you're actually friends with me on Facebook, you know, you mean the freaking world to me, otherwise, you know, the rest of it, the rest of the world, I say, you know, right there, so, yeah, so, you know, so, and, yeah, save all the hypocritic, hypocritical things. Oh, you're supposed to always do the nice and Mr. God boy and you do that. Well, hey, well, I got an answer to the Almighty, not some liberal whiner. So, again, too bad. Besides, yeah, the only reason you go go to him at, in the afterlife anyway is, you know, because you're forgiven. Because if, we if, we, if we're all judged by what we actually do, we're all in deep caca. So, anyway, getting back. Um, we, uh, went, uh, um, up to the Amish and, uh, just did a little shopping. Um, my uh, since, um, my wife and I and the whole family basically try to do as much from scratch as possible. We really didn't do too. We really look for a lot of, uh, other stuff we don't get a chance to buy anywhere else. And, um, uh, their plants are already, uh, on sale for, Pretty cheap. I think I paid sixteen dollars a flat. So of course we had to buy nine flats and um, uh, a couple more uh, established rhubarb plants and um, and uh, you know and realistically the Amish will kick the crap out of anyone growing anytime. Um, it is fantastic, you know. And I I laugh because like oh didn't that quaint? No, you know, I'll tell you something, y'all. You know, if you get a chance, um. Read some actual articles of what the Amish actually believe, because, uh, quite honestly, as messed up as the world is today, as twisted as it is today, um, you can't, uh, you cannot imagine, um, uh, the, the peace just to go out and get away from technology. I thought it was even really cool on the way back. My wife and I deviated off a little bit off the beaten path. And, um, you know, we're getting used to this because we don't even need our GPS anymore. So this is pretty, pretty cool. But, um, I was like, I go, is that where we turn? Well, let me check. And all of a sudden my phone went on. You are back online. I'm like, wow, cool. 
So it shows how awesome it is to even exist with all any technology. So anyway, um, yeah, for, so what did I get for my birthday? I got a couple DVD sets from my son and uh, my oldest daughter and, uh, um, and my youngest daughter um, got me uh, two pounds of beef jerky. Yummy. Yeah, my favorite. Korean barbecue. Um, and, uh, I want to show you something I got, my wife got me, because, um, I always towed in my solar panels, and she got me one of these, and I liked it so much, I had to buy four more for my little, uh, preps. This is a Gold Power Plus station, they're on clearance for 40 bucks, and, uh, it, um, uh, you can see right there, it's charging, uh, it will take a 110 appliance, and I've tried it because it, it slams one of my radios pretty good where I can hear it up the hill. It's got a weather radio, light, and a 110 plug. And here's the kicker. Now, this is, uh, those cheap solar panels I got at, for 33 bucks at Har 35 bucks at Harbor Freight. <coughs> I found the connector. And um, uh, you're gonna you're gonna freak because I'm gonna come over here because this is what's actually powering it right now, charging it even at this night. That little 18 DC volt uh, panel <coughs> with about seven watts. And you can tell it tells the temperature out there in the sun. Again, it's got the NOAA weather radio. <coughs> Crap in my throat. No, it ain't COVID, so, you know, don't worry. You don't need to wear a mask on the damn uh, video anyway. <coughs> so, anyway, what we got. Oh, man. There's a lot of crap going on here today. Um, My son, uh, 10 years old, actually fired up on his own. Our smoker right over there. And uh, help me prepare sixty dollars worth of shrimp. And uh, he did an awesome job. And we, me and him went to the store, and he uh, picked out the side for it, and came back. We made some uh, homemade dirty rice with it, and barbecued shrimp with uh, smoked uh, peppers and onions over um, pecan. So, anyway, that's about what we did on um, uh, over here. There's a few things going on, nothing really noteworthy growing right yet, but what we did, what these are my two uh, magnolia trees I bought my wife, and uh, as you can see right where the markers are, hopefully by tomorrow, they will be planted right here. I had to trim this bad boy too, it's pretty nasty. And uh, I'd provide a nice little border on the property and it'll look a little bit nicer, especially again when we get this thing uh, taken care of. So, anyway, um, other things we got at the Amish, we uh, bought 30 pounds of uh, baby carrots for 10 bucks. And we canned them up today. We ended up with 21 jars, and we actually have four pounds of them. We're going to do a test run, see how well whole baby carrots dehydrate and how long it takes. So that'll help a little bit right there. <clears throat> so, anyway, going in the greenhouse, what we got right here, a whole bunch of other stuff. Ha ha! My loving wife, she finally got her first yellow can up there. And uh, she got a couple uh, pink cannas coming up right there. <coughs> Other things we've had going up, and gotta look close because some of these things are a real pain in the rear end. What we're doing, um, uh, started doing, started growing alfalfa for the chickens here. And uh, these are the beginning of our lufa gourds right here so far. Um, these have not quite come up, and all these are 26 out of 72 um, vegetable spaghetti squash came up wild from uh, 
the stuff we picked yes last year or threw away last year that was going rotten in the house. So and we got over here some more of the fodder crops for the girls and um these um right here you want to know why I hawk ever wild seed so bad. Right there's a result 100% germination between these two squashes right here and fast. Um yeah, and granted we're in a greenhouse so but a lot of these right here, um, uh, this is a new variety, so I have no idea how long that takes. And, um, you know, so we're testing out, and some of these are a little bit older here, but as you can see, like right down here, uh, we do have a couple uh, seeds from the Amish Germany. Now, this is what I bought from the Amish um, uh, last year. So that's last year's ones we're trying to use up. And, uh, even here we got our first loofah over here. We're going to try to get about 28 plants total. And uh, we're going to also be planting um, uh, both a grapevine here and a grapevine here we got. Where I'm unsure yet. We have to put them in the middle of the greenhouse for right now until we get them planted. Because once those things attach to a cage or each other, it's a pain. And then right here we got... Um, uh, some more cucumbers come back, which we're going to have to let them go until they get a little stronger. And these two, these are actually orange habaneros from two years ago. And uh, the lemon habaneros from a year ago. And this right here, if you can see them, where is it? Right there. And there are the reaper peppers, which, oh boy. Three years old and um, a pain beyond belief to uh, grow. These two cells here are going to have the big hybrid Thai peppers, and these are actually purple tomatillos. Never grew them before, so we're going to have a ton of these. That's actually just two packets right there, so we should be able to hopefully split about 50 plants out of them. And I highly doubt it. Um, it's gonna, I don't know how it's going to go, but... Uh, these are new trees. We're going to try adding a couple uh, fig trees to the collection there. And we got a couple more uh, blueberry plants to add in. So that will bring us up to um, seven blueberry pan plants. These right here are the grand tomatoes that we got. Um... They are called Amish Paste, and these things are huge. Um, we also got this year, we're going to be uh, doing a few more Better Boy. Um, we have an heirloom variety called Mr. Stripey. And 12-ounce uh, fruit, not the greatest, but yeah, not too bad. These things, call um, were, it's a pure yellow tomato, they don't get that big. But they are tasty. They're called Lemon Boys. Uh, slightly sweeter than that. And um, uh, these did really well in Wisconsin. Um, uh, the other one, we got some celebrities. And uh, um, the one I want to try is um, actually two. One is a mortgage lifter. Supposedly, these things get one to two pounds. And that... It's kind of the pitcher inside them, so very solid, uh, solid one at that. So, and um, again from last year, um, uh, I love the taste, but um, it we did not get that many in there. It was a black crim tomato, a very dark purple or red. And it looks like that, so I'm really hoping those things go through. And we also bought a little bit more rhubarb to plant in the <laughs> And uh, we also got a few uh, infernal peppers, some uh, habaneros, and some more. And I'm going to be putting these super chilies and Thai dragons up mostly on the patio this year. 
So we do have a lot more to go. As you can see, we're filling up the greenhouse fast, so we're going to have to get to work pretty soon on here to get the stuff done. So, other than that, not too much else is going on. Uh, we, like I said, we had a good, uh, we had a good week. We really did. Um, gonna take a little extended weekend in that. I'm, uh, I'm taking off Monday anyway because the kids have an extended uh, testing for homeschooling. So we're not, uh, we're gonna be uh, busy there. Yeah, see the chickens look pretty good. And, uh, oh, I do actually do have something to show you up there. Yeah. And this, I got to thank my oldest daughter for doing the bulk of the work here. So I'm going to take you up uh, to the garden quick. I found a couple of things, actually, to sit there and show. Right here. As cold as it's been, our chives have been growing like you wouldn't believe. Just awesome. And, uh, <coughs> got over here, my wife and my daughter, uh, started restoration on her flower garden. The one back here. This is pretty much gone and suffering for a while. And, uh, got some, uh, protective border up with chicken wire around to keep the critters out. And, they potted up some tulips and had a lot of the other stuff all around here. Yeah, my beautiful yard. <laughs> Not anymore. That's okay. We'll get a fire going soon enough. One thing we usually like doing a lot is we will uh, end up Trying to uh, grow things that not always grow too well in here, but uh, we're getting a good start. Um, for how bad and how messy the beds were so far, and again, I had to bribe my daughter for this one day. She did a damn good job, and she put new soil in all the beds up here. Added in, these are just shy of being planted right here. Every one of them, the main ones we built. You can see down here, our raspberries are doing well. Um, up there and right here are the pear trees we put in last year. As you can see, they have a lot of growth started and they've really weathered the winter really nice. And these are always my most amazing ones because uh, over here that I'm going to show you next. Because we bought these for 12 and a half bucks at Walmart when they're three feet tall. And now they're about eight feet tall. They should not grow here, so we must have acclimated them to the soil and climate pretty well. These are actually Georgia peach trees right here. You got one here and then underneath over here. And yeah, this one's current about six and a half feet tall. And the other is about eight feet. We got uh, down here, um, uh, this was all that soil we bought a lot. We jacked it up about three inches, so full of nutrients under that. Some chicken crap that's been um, uh, mellowing for six, seven months. And uh, hopefully some good rechargeable soil. Things are the things we made. Um, our herb garden, we need, uh, we need to clean this up yet, though. But, uh, yeah. You got some of the oregano coming back down there and some mint. Uh, these were strawberries, or, or no, no, more raspberry vines that a friend of mine got. So we're getting these established. I'm going to have to, I'm going to somehow tie them up to this uh, fencing here. 
if you look all these other patches are all the herbs coming back so a little bit more in here to do with uh the Weiss Little Paradise. I built I built her this garden last year area and uh she got some perennials coming back down there and she got a whole bunch of plants she bought from the Amish up here so keeps the one side of perennials and the whatever suits her mood on the other one. And Oh boy, we still got a lot of work here. You'll probably end up adding some soil here too. And uh, transport, transplant that rhubarb a little bit more here and then fill that one in. This is probably where we're going to put the grapevines, the grapes. Right there and on the other side of the prayer area. And this is actually, this is this is always a special area because the side of it serves a function reminding me that we're just on borrowed time of what God's blessed us with. That's it. And this area was actually built before the garden around it. It's this little thing in the back of our, back of our property. And, uh, it's amazing that, you know, God is here. And by all rights, these shouldn't have survived the winter. So for all you happy little atheists, um, uh, chew on that little thing. I love that example. Yep. There's another proof of God takes care of you. And then we're going to put here. And what I was going to do was uh, right here where we have those things for the other grapevines, put another one here. One in the middle, one at the end, we're going to string some wire and have them train, try and train to go over here. Um, there's a lot of stuff we would like to do to this. And uh, eventually maybe even add a little um, uh, trellis, pergola area around here. And uh, see what we can do and maybe add a couple plants here. And a couple plants here. These are the stainless steel 3x4 beds too, by the way. And we got five more. I have no idea where we're going with yet. But we got them. And uh, for next year, actually, I managed to find three greenhouse covers, but they'll cover the size of this bed here at uh, Tractor Supply when we were out too. And whether or not they'll have them next year, who knows. These right here, you can see we're getting some good buds on our cherry trees coming back. And uh, even in uh, last year, a lot of these branches are actually new coming up right here. So yeah, for Wisconsin weather, I really got nothing to complain about. I did not pay over 30 bucks for any of these trees. Some of the decor uh, at this curb shopping out by us because some guy didn't want it. Good whole blast of the holes, that's it. Uh, he's a come out slower, mostly the weather. <laughs> but down here, we have our first uh, daikon radishes coming up. So, and uh, last year we got them, well, probably about 12 inches. So, we had sugar snap peas among this trellis here and that. With this year, we are going to put some. Uh, Asparagus beans, yard-long ones. Well, that's for quite a few other things, too. That's I can kind of show off the excellent job my oldest daughter, Kira, did. So, it's nice to know, especially when you see your kids actually making an effort to not only better themselves, but to uh, learn survival skills. Because I'll tell you what, they sure as hell ain't going to get it in the public school. They sure as hell ain't going to get anything worthwhile for any liberal turd bags or the demon crats that run the system. And I'll tell you what, I will back that up to any Democrat any day of the week who wants to go head on with me on that. 
So, please, you'll lose. So, that's about the update on our happy little uh, <laughs> mess right here. <coughs> See how it's going. So, again, it was an awesome birthday with an awesome family. Got no complaints. So, why did it cost so much? Well, number one, I didn't complain because I really don't need nothing. I really, if I'm blessed enough, if I want something, I can usually go buy it. And it's not bringing, it's a matter of doing what's right with your money. That's a reward you get for being right with your money. And by that, I don't mean I want a new car. Bullshit. No. I'll tell you what. Anyone who knows me knows I love cheese and sausage, okay? Probably more than chocolate. There's something that's going to give me a heart attack. It's probably going to be, you know, either smoked or grilled or fried or whatever, okay? <coughs> and uh, we had uh, went to uh, Leroy's Meats, which if you guys are around, familiar around our area, awesome sausage, about ten bucks a pound for uh, smoked sausage. And the uh, honey barbecue is pretty good, but if you ever get the frickin' pineapple teriyaki, that is a cat's rear end, plain and simple. And uh, at the homage, we saw a cheese uh, thing, Colby cheese. Um, if you don't know what a horn is, a horn is basically a big frickin' brick of cheese that you see. A Colby horn is uh, about seven inches around and maybe, maybe 14 inches tall. No, it's more than that to me, about 16, 18 inches tall. Anyway, it was 39, or 13 pounds, and if we wanted them to cut it, which we did, it was 235 a pound. For 29 bucks, we got 13 pounds of Colby, and for about the same price, uh, 10 pounds of string cheese. Went pretty and fantastic. <coughs> So, that was a little bonus right there. And we never been to the place. Just happened to be seeing it on the road, and it's like, hey, yep, they're, yep, they're open. Let's turn around. So we did. Um, that was about it. We usually stop at a lot of places. We don't, you know, when we go on this little road trip, you see a lot of stuff, but you see a lot of stuff you never see. And I, for me... It's always a chance to stop at places I never get a chance to stop at. So not around where I live. And uh, so to me, it literally is a vacation. It literally is a mini vacation. I don't need a lot to be happy. I have what I have to be happy. I have an awesome wife. I have awesome kids and an awesome family. I have enough. Uh, I have a Lord that's blessed my family beyond belief. As far as not only giving what we need but providing some of our wants and and giving us the ability to be content with what we have instead of uh being uh full of people who always want more and when you have that feeling you'll be surprised how much of your problems actually uh drift away or weren't really problems to begin with So, as far as that goes, um, uh, you know, that's, I do get an attitude sometimes, but hey, oh well. I've been through crap in my life. I've been through enough shit. Yeah, you, know, you know what, I pulled through. They can say, God help me, but there's damn near no one else did. So if I help him, it's because he tells me to. 
Because I remember who helped me and who didn't. I remember who took from me and who didn't. And whether they know that I know that, don't matter. So, unless I have a movement from the one upstairs, you know, that's, uh, that's how it is. And people want, people want or think they're entitled to shit. No, they ain't. They have a right to live however they want, but they don't have a right to my life. If that's one thing I can instill in my kids and my family and I can live my life to, that's fine. It's like the old saying where it says, well, if you shoot somebody breaking into your house, you value more stuff than another's life. No. If you break into my house, that means you value my stuff over your own life. You're pretty much too. And I'm going to piss a lot of people off here anyway too because at the final thing, pardon my French, and yeah, they probably deserve that little label, but anyway, uh, when it gets a little nice out, you're going to see another, you're going to see two flags in my uh, yard. <coughs> First is the good old, old glory, USA, up on the flagpole. Right underneath it, I don't care what you say, that one's going to say on one top of the banner, Jesus is my savior, and on the bottom, Trump is still my president. And you know something? There ain't nothing anyone can do about it. Now you can try to take it down, we'll see how that works, because I'll tell you what, for any you liberals who think I'm, uh, you're going to show your balls underneath that dress... Um, my flag's about 80 feet onto my property line. There ain't going to be no mistake when you get a 12-gauge up the ass. So, think well. So, but anyway, that's about as political as I really want to get this weekend. Um, so, anyway, thanks for uh, joining me on Uncle Stevie's Neighborhood. And, uh, we'll see you next time. <laughs>